sorry, I'm sorry, big bro. It was Auntie Linda. She didn't come back on time yesterday, so I had to sleep over. I'm sorry. You must be very stupid. You must be mad. Is there enough reason for you to sleep out? What do you expect to tell mom and dad? Do you want to get me into trouble? What thing? You should have called. Eh? What's going on here? Mom is dead. Why are you people shouting? Good morning, mom. Mom, we told Auntie Linda. She didn't come back on time yesterday, so I had to sleep over. I'm really sorry about that. I'm sorry. I am totally and absolutely disappointed in you. How could you, you of all people, sleep out? Are you crazy or something? You know your father will not tolerate this, don't you? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Don't want to it again. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Please let me talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Please. I'll talk to them, I don't know, because you know it's going to be really mad at you. Don't try it next time. I'm sorry, bro. I'm really sorry, bro. Auntie Linda did not allow me to come back home because it was very late. I'm sorry, please. Come on, big bro. I'm sorry. Please now, Jen says she's sorry. Forgive her, yeah. please. Hmm? Come on now, stop doing chakra. Hmm? She's begging you now. Hmm? Don't say she didn't beg you because I'm her witness. It's okay there. It's alright. It's okay. So where is daddy now? Somewhere around the house. You have to go and apologize to him. You know dad is angry with us. Do you know I can't go and face dad now? I am afraid. I don't know. I don't know how to face him. Don't be scared. He will listen to you. Are you sure? Yes, big bro. Let me lead out to dad. Okay? Let's go. Don't be scared. After okay, you. Okay, okay. Go in. Let's go. Go and talk to dad now. What is wrong with you? I've tried my best. If you don't want to go, I'll go, I'll, I'll go back. No, no, I'm afraid. Yeah. I don't go and talk to you. No, please now. Just talk to me. Just stay there. My dad. My sweetest dad. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> Daddy, what is it? I want to ask you something. Go ahead. Then it's going to tell you something. Just listen to her. Yes, I've always been a jail as principal of massacre. My daddy, daddy. <laughs> daddy, I'm deeply sorry. I'm sorry for my actions. I promise I won't do it again. Daddy, please. Yeah, I'm sorry. Daddy, sure I said I'm sorry. I've always known you are for us. Daddy, I'm sorry now. Sorry. Are you sure? Are you sure? I want you. You know, your mother and I want the best for you. We didn't mean to hurt you. Just to protect you. Yeah. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Yes. Angel. One minute. Um, every time you go out, make sure you come back next week. Four kids. Okay? Thank you, Daddy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and I'm so happy that you came to me and you came to me. Thank you, Daddy. I'm happy. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yes, I finished with you. You can now go. Daddy, thank you, Daddy. Uh, yeah, the best daddy. Uh, 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 so, I'm going to see. Uh, uh, oh, Jane. Ah, good at you. Hmm? How are you? I'm fine. Oh, <laughs> oh well. You are looking beautiful. Thank you. How's business? Oh, business is fine. Business is fine. Um, 
Until then, until you meet down. So no one's at home. I'm about going for lecture. Oh yes, I I know. But, um, you see, Jane, I did not come for her. I actually came here to to see me. To see me. There is something that I have been wanting to tell you. Something that has been bothering me in my mind for some time now. Yeah. I hope they, I don't understand you. Um, you are young, you are beautiful, you are graceful, you know, you, you have a bright future, you, you have everything working for you, but I just felt I should let you know this. But Chief, I, I thought... Listen, it's not what you think, okay? It's not, it's not what you think at all. I, um, I can handle this, okay? I can handle this and then um, I can make it work, all right? I should be on my way now before I, I go, okay. Oh, yes. This is for you. This is for me? Um, in a couple of days, I'll be back to intimate you on what exactly I want from you, okay? If Linda comes back, tell her that I was here. Okay, no problem. Okay. 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 <laughs> come Jerusalem, come Jerusalem. Look, 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 look. Don't try and run away. I can see what you are holding. <laughs> that your hand is very, very fine. <laughs> come, Abia. I have told you time with that number that my name is not Jerusalem. What is wrong with you? Do I look like Jerusalem? Eh? I resemble Jerusalem for your eye. Look, look, you don't know why I'm calling you Jerusalem. <laughs> Let, let me tell you one thing. Look, it is not good for somebody like you, people like you, that is very, very fine to get angry. Because even when you get angry like this, it does not show that you are angry. Jerusalem. <laughs> I think that Chief is not trying to job this Jerusalem. Oh. Chief is chopping Madame now. Now you want to put an eye for Jerusalem. And Jerusalem are two of us now. We don't they talk. Is that Jerusalem is trying to agree. Chief, come and give Jerusalem money now to make Anoro agree again. No, 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 I know that. God, please help me, God. Let me get this money. I want to get this money so that I can begin to chop people like Jerusalem. I will chop people like Jerusalem like this. I will chop them. <laughs> I know that I'm still a small boy. By the time I grow up, up to 30 years now, I'm 40 years, that I've got money. I begin to chop Jerusalem. <laughs> I begin to chop Jerusalem. <laughs> Told me that Chief was here this afternoon. Oh yes, Chief was here. He said something, but I can't really understand what he said. Say something. What did he say? There is something he said is going to tell me in two days' time. That has been bothering me. Okay. And also, he gave me. He gave me this. Chief gave you this money. Yes. And what did they say? Don't worry. I think Chief wants you. No, no, Auntie. Don't worry. It's gonna be dead. Oh my god, look at him. God, nice. Nice. Yes, bro. Oh, you know I'm not good at this. I'm not good at all. 
the group guess. Neither do I. I can't guess. Okay. So tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me. <gasps> and Linda gave me two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars for what? She said she wants to compensate me for all the things I've been doing for her. Since she has not done anything for me before. Compensate? Yes. Are you sure what I said? Yes, I'm sure. Which is this in our currency? I don't know. You should know better now. Never mind. Say dollar. Trust you. Ha! You go to use this one to buy biscuit. Jingle. And let it. We are going to buy clothes, shoes, no to be cold. Are you sure? It's not one of those abroad men of hers that gave you this money. People. It's not any men, America, or wherever. This money was given to me by Auntie Linda. I trust you! Well, I've said my own. I'm going to buy it. Bro, buy it. I'm going to change my clothes. You know what? I want to buy something. Oh, Francis. Daddy, hey, Yes. Are you okay? Yes, you're okay. Well, I'm. Or your mother returns. They hand off. Okay, well, hmm? okay, okay. And guess what? No, I want my food ready before I come back. No problem. Guess what I need? Mm, your favorite. Yes. Yeah. That's my daddy. That's your daddy. Right. Don't worry. Daddy. 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 How was your night? My night was very, very uh, nice. Please come and open the gate for me. I'm about going to the lecture. <laughs> yeah, listen to me. Do the talk. The, the way you are just looking like this, eh? You are just looking like this, they take away. And if those boys outside catch you, <laughs> they will just end tight to your hair. Listen to me. They're so funny. Stop. And they will come out from here, they go. Come and open the gate for me. What a funny gate, man. <laughs> Please, stop. Yeah. 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 is the man that is, you know, no, that's not there. Oh, I'm running late. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, I'll let you. Bye. <laughs> hey. Yeah, listen. Hey. Girl, the way that girl is finding and finding and finding and finding every day. Ah! Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It be like still or can you get eye for that girl? The, girl, the day big mother would do that or can you get eye with that girl? That day, heaven will just begin to render every day, every day. And thank God I will not be here. That time I, I, I know that I will be at the court every day. I know that one. I, Jerusalem, see if I can. See if I can. If I don't catch that girl of person, and if I enter inside and Jerusalem like this, eh? Here it goes. Here I come. <laughs> Please now, come and see me off to that place. I won't take much of your time. Please. But Jane, do you know that we're almost late to the lesson? Let's go. I know. I said I will not take much of your time. I just need to see my godmother. Yesterday I left her. She was so angry. And you know I don't like when she's been hurt. Please. Hmm. You are this your godmother. Yeah, I'm not coming with you. Let's go. We are late. Okay. Okay. Fine. I don't want us to quarrel over this issue. Hmm? Just go to the class. I'll come and join you. Hey girls, excuse me. Of course you can help me. You see, uh, we are new in this town and we're looking for a 
which restaurant was the hot uh, food? Probably the Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a good restaurant down there. Just take your left, you see. Please, if you don't mind, take your last day. No, I'm sorry about that. I'm running late for my lesson. Like I said before, the restaurant is just down there. Just take your left, you see. Okay, so let's do this way. You take us to the restaurant, we take you back to your lesson center, and then we'll go back for a meal. How about that? Okay. It's fine by me. All right, come here. Let's go. I know you've been wondering what is it I said I wanted to tell you the last time we met. Yes, I've been very disturbed about this whole issue. I can't wait to hear it. Well, Jean, it's about my son. So. My only son. He's sad. Very sad. Jane, I want you to be his friend. I want you to make him happy once again. But Chief, I've never met him before. Oh, Dad, he's a nice young man. I can assure you, a very nice young man. But Chief, if I may ask, why is he sad? It's a long story. A girl he loved disappointed him. She broke his heart. Really, really hard. And it was difficult and heavy on him. He withdrew into himself, almost becoming a reckless, withdrawn and sad. And that doesn't make it any better for me. Not at all. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Chief. I'm really sorry about that. But how do I come in? Well, um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Anything. I, I just want to ask you. Do you have do you have a relationship? You know what I mean? I mean, do you have a boyfriend, a lover, somebody you are intimate with? No. I mean, I don't have a boyfriend. I've never had any relationship before. I, mean, I don't even know what it feels like to be into a relationship. Are you serious? In this 21st century, a young, beautiful girl like you, you don't have a boyfriend? Wow. I knew it. Jane, I knew it. I knew that there was something about you. The first time I set my eyes on you, I knew you were different. Make my son happy once again. Bring him back to life. And I will do anything for you. 
absolutely anything to you. Okay, but Chief, I need to know the actual time because my dad will be sending me for an errand tomorrow at 2 p.m. Okay, that means we'll have to make it before 2 p.m. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Again. Let me assure you that from this moment onwards, you will never lack anything. Thank you. Just bring my son back to life again. Make him happy. And I will do anything for you. So, Jane, she wants you to get his son. Yes, that was what he said. I didn't know. I thought he wanted you for himself. Linda, why would you think of such a thing? You can't tell. Men, anything goes. And what did you say to him? I didn't give him any definite answer yet. There will be no need for the answer because you will not date him. It will work. Why? She should be the one to decide that, not you. Joy, don't give me that crap. Chief came to my house and discussed that with her. Without carrying me along, where is it done? Besides, Jane here is under my care. I won't let her do that. You want the parents to say tomorrow now that I'm the one spoiling her? Is that what you want? So, you won't date him. Auntie, I have not even agreed yet. And you will not agree. Huh? Linda. Linda, I meant no harm. Okay? I meant no harm. Uh, this is for my son. And you know he, he's sad. He's not happy. I meant no harm. At least you should have told me. You should have told me. Why would you come to my house and plant all this behind me with joy? No, that's wrong. Linda, this is for my son. You know his condition. You know what happened to him. You know his history. You know how sad he is. And you know how it is taking his toil on me. I said, I don't care. Do I look like I care? What I'm saying is that, Chief, it can't work. Ah! Then it has to work. It has to work. Linda, why are you shouting? Please leave me alone. Joy. Joy, talk to your friend. Chief, don't you worry. I'll definitely talk to him. Linda. What about the problem? Listen, I don't know. I know. She says, I've talked to her. She's always like this. Always blowing little things out of her. Oh, my God. Why must my come now that Chief has called? But we agreed for two. Oh my God. God. Chief will never believe me. He will think I'm a flirt. Oh God. God. I didn't mean it this way. Oh, why?
son. Yeah. Do you know her? Yeah. Wow. I met her some days back. Are you kidding me? Not at all. Because this is the same very girl I was bringing you to come and see. <laughs> well, this is a small one, you know. Um, I think we are destined to be here some other fight. You see, I, I met her a couple of days ago. You know, we got talking and I kind of started liking her. And we booked appointment to see today by 2 p.m. So, what we are talking so much about this to her, I said, okay, let me just really come and see her and then go back to my appointment. Only for me to come here and look who we have here. Oh, <laughs> wow. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. Come again. I'm really sorry for that. I'm not going to excuse myself. I'm not going to excuse myself. I'm not going to excuse myself. There is this guy I met. A guy? Yes. What's his name? His name is Mike. How long have you guys known? About a week now. I think I like him. He's very handsome. You no know, cute. <laughs> Look at this girl. So you like him because he's handsome, right? No. He likes me too. He promised to take me for shopping tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to get me something while coming back. Don't worry, I'll buy you a lot of things. You know you're my only sister. And I love you so much. I want you to take good care of yourself and be very, very careful, okay? No problem. Thank you, sis. I'm happy that I have someone to count on. Anytime, sis. Everything for you. But what about that? Dad, don't worry. I will talk to mom. We will confide in her and she will help us handle that, okay? Good morning. Oh, you girls haven't gone to bed yet. No, mommy. <laughs> Still. We are discussing. Just talking about what? Guest, girl stuff. Oh, yeah. then I should be part of it after all I'm a girl. Mom, is dad asleep? Yes, he is. You know your father. He's very tired from the trip. I was busy actually in the bathroom washing up some dirty linen. Can we confide in you? Of course you can. <laughs> You're my daughters and I love you. You can. Well, Jane has a boyfriend. You're so much in love. Don't worry. You will get to meet him. His name is Mike. And his friend Jerry said he would like to meet with you. Meet me? But I don't even know him. I know. This guy is very handsome. If you see him, you will like him. So, where is this man from? He just came back from my porch. And his father is a very rich businessman. Don't worry, when you get to meet him, you'll ask him whatever you want to know. Okay? So, when am I meeting you? Very soon. I have a date with him tomorrow. And I will meet an arrangement for both of us tomorrow. So, you meet this cherry guy I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, you're not talking big, oh. You can say that again. I am in love. Oh my god, oh, you I love are. this guy. I can't take anything. I just <laughs> love this guy. I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> Yes, I think. Uh, kids. 
Interested, so is he coming to pick you or is he going to meet him? He's coming here. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> cool. I greet you. How are you? <laughs> you can see I just the way you keep me now. If you still make I eat now, <laughs> I will eat up. <laughs> of course, you now always take care of it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That is your small, uh, small madam. Uh, you, you just come now, you did there. <laughs> yes. Okay, let me see that. Yeah, thank you. How's your father? Oh, he's awesome. He sends his regards. Hello, Mike. Oh, dear. Wow. You look cute. Thank you. Oh, well, actually, I came to pick up my sweetheart. Uh, I must be leaving now. I'm like in a head a little bit. So soon? Mm -hmm. 
So are you ready? Okay. 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 Friend. I am really proud of you, honestly. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you know what? You need to go get dressed now. Let me drop you off. It's getting late. Okay. I really need to meet up with the kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. Stop pretending. Stop pretending. You think you can just come from nowhere and take a cute guy like you to yourself? Leaving me towards old chief, taking old blood. Mm -mm. It can't work. Put that in there. Listen to me and listen very good. Mike is mine. If you don't know, maybe you're not told you. We are dating. That's a fact. I mean, what of us are like in love. I don't believe you. You are lying. Mike loves me and I love him too. Oh my god, baby girl. Like I said, a word is enough for the world. You know I love you. But for Mike, keep him. Stay away from Mike. <laughs> that we are crying that like this you are going, I hope. <laughs> Madam, Madam did not beat you. <laughs> you listen, you know that it's not good for fun people to cry or I don't know why you are crying. I don't want to cry. <laughs> you are listening. Why are you crying? I don't want to talk to me. Look, if you don't talk to me, I'm going to cry my own. I'm going to cry my own now. Jerusalem. So, how is um, Jane? She's fine, Dad. You see, there's one thing I've noticed with every new day. My love for Jane keeps increasing. And I keep loving her more and more. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's how it's supposed to be, you know? Hmm? I'm doing my best. Though. Are we? Yes, sir. Wow. Jane, you didn't tell me you're coming. Welcome, my angel. Thank you, Chief. Mike, what's your problem? Must she tell you every time she wants to visit the house? Jane is already a member of the family. Yeah, they're not like, I don't like the fact that she came around, but like, I'm surprised, you know, like, I didn't even know she was coming around. But time. you like it, right? Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> 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 All right, okay. Um, my angel, enjoy your stay, right? Mm -hmm. Let me excuse both of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chief. All right. <gasps> I want to talk to you. Is that no right? I need to talk to you. Why 
Why didn't you tell me you have anything to do with Linda? Linda? Yes. I don't have anything to do with her. No, honestly speaking. The only thing I know is that Linda is dating my father. That's all. Mike is mine. If you don't know, maybe you're not telling me. Maybe you're dating. That's a fact. I mean, full of us are like, you're in love. I don't believe you. You are lying. Mike loves me and I love him too. Oh my god, baby girl. Like I said, a word is enough for the word. You know I love you. But for Mike, keep him up. Stay away from Mike. That's not true. It's a lie. I believe you. You do? Yes. But don't you think we should tell your dad about this? Yeah. I don't want to hurt my father. He loves her so much, and this might break his heart. Okay, he says so. Hello, lovebirds. I will be back shortly, right? Okay. Enjoy yourselves. Right. Mike? Take good care of her. Sure. Right? Okay. Be careful. All right. All right. <laughs> Don't worry, my love. See, I know how to handle this kind of situation, okay? Mm -hmm. No handle it. Mm -hmm. I love you. I know. <laughs> and I love you more. <laughs> Told us this right now. I mean, I wonder what would have happened to you. My God! Linda, how could you do this to me? Where have I gone wrong? Linda, I came here to warn you. I came here to sound a note of warning to you that your dream can never come true. Okay, we can be together. See, Linda, I love Jane. I'm in love with her. As a matter of fact, we love ourselves so dearly. And nothing can change it, not even you or whatever you think you're doing. Mike, I love you. You, you don't know my kind of love. You don't know the kind of romance I'm going to give you. I bet you... Oh, Linda, there's no amount of love. There's no amount of romance. I mean, there's no amount of beauty that can alter what I have for Jane. See, I love her so much. Don't you get it? See, and let me warn you. Stay off me. Okay? Stay off me. My please don't do this. I don't want to hurt my dad. I... I wait. Mike! You like shed tears, you like shed blood, you must not solve the problem. You must not see that boy. Huh? See him as put your life in jeopardy. He has put your life on track with a uh, danger. <laughs> you that. He has done nothing wrong. I trust him so much. But you be hot if I should pay him so much. 
and taking up high and you the odds, you might say, you might say this nonsense. Oh, do you think you will be happy if he hears that you're dead? Or oh, that you have actually ramad? Go for big dad. My star cannot die. Shut up. God can be for you this. If you believe what I'm telling you now. Otherwise, God will forbid no such thing. One of these must happen. Death or what? Or madness. Death. Linda will not do anything to me. I love him. I love life so much. I can't seek of anything again. I love him. Shut up! Think of yourself first. You are still very young. Eh? Of course, I remember her warned you because that your so called uh, godmother. Eh? I don't want to hear about her. Also, my eyes on her every time. Are you hearing me? A look of all this. What's wrong with this children? <laughs> I don't know why you children are finding the people to understand you. I am talking in your best interest. My house. Oh, baby, I've been worried about you. I've not seen you. <laughs> so I had no choice than to start stressing here. It was really difficult, though, but thank God wow. I'm here. Mike, a lot. Things have been very rough. My dad. What about your dad? Is he okay? Yes, but actually, Joy came to my house and told my family that Linda went to see a spiritualist to make you to love her and make me mad. Is she crazy? How would she do that? I don't know. People are so mean. And my problem is that my dad has stopped me from seeing you. Oh my God. I don't just know. I don't... Jane! Jane! What are you doing there? Haven't I warned you about seeing him? You, what are you doing there? Calm down, guy. Now. See, I, I'm not hurting your sister. I just want to talk with her. Please, I don't want my dad to meet you there and embarrass you. Please, just leave. Jane, get into the house. It's all right. I'll, I'll see you later, okay? I don't care to know how you feel about anything. What I want to know now is this. But I'm sure I made myself clear off. Now tell me, young man, in a very simple, straight time, what did my little daughter, Jane, do to you that you want to have? Excuse me, Hampa. I don't understand what you're talking about. Stop the pretext! Joy already told us everything. That's ingrate. I'm not surprised. Anyway, if you must know, I only went there for my personal issue. Nothing more. So why would she come and tell you lies? I don't care if you went there for your personal problem or for everybody's problem. All I'm telling you now is this. Listen and listen to me. If anything happened to my little daughter, I will hold you absolutely responsible. Did we hear you? Without the respect, sir. This thing you're directing to me should either be going to your daughter, um, Jane. I mean, she's a snitch. Someone I took like my younger sister. Why go in behind me to seduce my boyfriend? Sir, tell your daughter to stay off Mike because Mike is mine. I can't share her with anyone, okay? It's a lie, Antivia. How could you do this to me? How could you? After everything I've done for you, I took care of you, including your belongings. How could you? You know what, Antivia? I trusted you. I loved you. How could you turn your backs on me? Mike is mine. Keep off him. Is that too big to ask? Look, Leah. Take this into your sticky skull. I would rather die than let you have Mike. Wow. So be it. I don't blame you, young lady. It is you. You have just insulted me, and I demand you to take it back. Yeah. Ah, yeah. 
Yes, my love. Nadia! Go, 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 before you open this gate, come to the house and ask me. Don't open gate for anybody. Do you hear me? Yes, Did you hear me? Yes, madam. Don't yes, do madam. it next yes, time. Yes, madam. Eh? Because I will not do it again. Because... Uh, madam, don't be angry with me. What about uh, Mr. You? You're silly! Mr. You, look at him. Don't open this gate for anybody. Did you hear me? No, no. Make sure this gate is locked. He's your idiot. Lock this gate. Make sure this gate is locked. Rubbish man. Look at him. me i am tired of talking i am tired oh <laughs> i think i'll be okay with that mic i left we just be miserable without him i can't even think i can't think of anything i don't know okay see i have an idea idea what idea You've been meeting with Mike secretly in his place without your dad knowing about it. So you want her to go against my dad? Try it and see if I won't tell dad. Be very, very careful. Be very careful. Please, now. Favor. Please let her go. Don't tell your dad about it, please. Sis, please. Please. Don't tell dad. You know, I love him so much. And I can't do anything with that. Please. I'm going crazy about this guy. Please. It's okay. You know it's because of you that I'm doing this thing. Eh? Please. Be very, very careful. You know that will skin me alive if he finds out that you went out. Please. Okay, thank you. Thank Some changes to the name of the document. Of course, you're right. I, I agree to tell you too, but then, um, let's make those changes. Chief, every work has already been done, this paper has already documented. I mean, there's nothing to be changed. But I see it already, and my hands are tight. There's nothing I can do about it. Please, try to rise. Yes. Thank you. Documents are documents. They are my documents. And change this out in the You do as I say. Oh, oh, I don't like chief. Just give it to me. Oh, fine. I am not in a hurry. Take your time. Take, take all your time. Take all the time you want. Okay? Do it then. Chief, oh, uh, Angel, how are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. Okay. Is Mike my at home? Yes, of course. Bye! I'm sure you know your way out. Don't worry, at least I'm missing you. You know your way out. Yes, you need to understand the wish you wish to choose. But that's most of the reason why it's not a Hey, Joy! How dare you? How dare you talk about me in town like this? You, little girl, I picked up from the gutter. I will surely deal with you. You are an ungrateful animal. I think I don't have anything to tell you. But your heart is wicked. Oh, all of a sudden, I have a heart of wicked? 
I'm wicked now? No problem. But by the time I finish with you, you will know what the real wickedness is. Ungrateful oh, fool. Listen, babe. There is nothing you, your spiritualists, and every other god put together can do to me. Because I'm serving a living God. <laughs> How dare you talk about God? Do you know who he is? Look at you. A rose girl. I mean, let me hear you to do this thing now. A club girl like you. Talk about God. Do you know him? Do you know him? That was before, babe. When last did you see me in the club? For your information, if you don't know, know it now. I am now a born again. I will advise you also to give your life to God before it's too late for tears. And for someone like you, you need to be born again twice. You have to first of all, start by changing your serpentine name to a better name. But how could you do that to a little girl? I get that it. No, like hold on, hold on, I get it. Like I said, you're going to hear from me. I will make sure I run you out of this town. I will mess you up. What? I will mess you up. What's your coming, bitch? I will deal with you. I will do it. Like I said, I will do it. Hmm? Don't think about what I said. I'll keep praying for you. I can't stay without you. I'll just kill myself. Please, please, please go. Okay, let's find a way, okay? So right, stop crying. And my family are going for my sister's wedding. And my dad said I'll be going with them to Cardinal. I can still it at you. Your dad wants to take you away from me so I won't see you again. Are you are you not done yet? Um, Chief, I'll, I'll soon be done, okay? Just to give me some names. Remember, you asked me to change some things? Yes, exactly. The names are some other yes. stuff. Some students' names and then make sure that um, yeah. it's line with what we are pursuing. Exactly. Yeah. That is what I'm doing. Because so, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'll be done. Just give me some time. Let me get something inside. Oh, no problem. Uh, some stuff comes to concentrate on this. Alright, I'll take it.
my name is Barrister James. I'm Chief Jude's lawyer. Okay. You've been asked to vacate this building at the entire premises. You're not serious. You'll be arrested. <laughs> Let me call Chief. <laughs> uh, there won't be a need to call Chief. It prompts this movement. Is that we are here? You see, I don't know what you call yourself. Barrister James or... Uh, whatever. Mr. James. I don't care. You can't come to my house and begin to tell me all this rubbish because I discussed with Chief two days ago. He never mentioned something like this to me. So you have no right to come to my house and vacate me in my house. Absolutely. It can never happen. Boys, please go and lock up and tell this. Yes, sir. Go and lock up this place now. If I do that, go and lock up this place I don't know, but it's like James or whatever you call yourself. You can't do that really? because I just spoke with Chief some days ago. Are you coming and tell me that Chief said I should vacate? It is not done. Are you done with what's not the best? I understand. Listen, Chief told me one thing that you have nothing in this house to you. Everything in this house was bought by a money. Now, where's the khakis? Where's the khakis? Let me have the khakis. Where is the khakis? Commissioner. Oh, 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 I don't get any What's my network is this? I don't know where I would go now. If you spend Madame now, I'll, I'll go with Madame. I don't know where I'll go, okay? Um, come here. Come here. Okay. I am Chief. I'm trying to discuss about you, okay? Yes. So go. Chief Alice. Okay. We'll return your job. In fact, we'll be getting your normal salary. Okay. Thank you, okay? Thank you. But I want you to do something for me. And listen and listen very carefully. So can I mold in my ear? You day. see this shit that of a woman? Yeah, okay. You see this evil genius standing here? Yeah, okay. This woman that is worse than the old serpent. Yeah, okay. I don't want to see her anywhere close to this friend. It's your mother! So outside of this. It is your mother that is. Do I make myself? That is a shit devil. Come and take me away. Come, come and take me away. Come and take me away. And madam, if you do otherwise, like I said, I'll send you to jail. Your work starts now. Move out of this place. Sir, move out of this place! Abia! Madam. If you push me, Abia, I'll be I'll still move out of this place! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Madam, you won't get me! Don't touch 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 me! Don't Okay. Please don't follow me. This one will not come no, back to this house. You will not come back to this house. Okay. Yeah, no, guys. Still have my number. Yeah, no, guys. The number I gave you last time. Yeah, no, guys. The number used to call me. Right? Yeah. Make sure you call me. Okay. I will you. Okay. I will call you. Okay. I will call you. I thought that something is wrong with that man. Okay. Good. I thought that something is wrong with that man. Okay. I will call you. I will call you. I thought that something is wrong with this woman. Today I become the owner of this place. You want me to lose my job? I cannot lose my job. My eyes will be on right now, looking, looking everywhere I see. I will just call the owner. The owner will go. He will take care of you. Yes. Dad must have told you everything. I will always love you anywhere I will be. Destiny is cruel. I just discovered maybe we were not meant for each other. 
I'm off to US there with pains in my heart. I can't stand the thought of missing you forever. I just hope you will find another loving guy your parents will accept. Bye, love. Mike. Yeah. <laughs> 